My name is Barbara Sternberg. I live in Toronto and I make experimental films and videos. I didn't set out to make experimental films. It wasn't that I now identified myself as a filmmaker and identified myself as a genre filmmaker. I really, truly just had ideas and worked them out uh, perhaps more influenced because the people I was working with at the Community Arts Centre were visual artists and so they would take an idea, they would find the medium or the means at which to express it and I did the same thing only I did it in film. Experimental I think uh, is meant to allude to or, or refer to uh, the innovativeness or sometimes technical innovation or formal innovation that experimental film has. but. Uh, Within, within the other genres, I, I think one could comfortably uh, compare uh, narrative filmmaking to the novel, uh, documentary film to the essay in, in writing, and that would leave experimental film, I think, uh, uh, as most akin to poetry. And there are many forms that poetry takes. Uh, many lengths that a poem can be, and similarly in experimental film, once you uh, lose the constraints of narrative, the conven narrative conventions, and the constraints of uh, veracity in documentary, you can then look at all the possibilities that film, the medium in its totality, has to offer I think of my films as being experiential, and I hope that they are experiential, uh, from a number of perspectives. One, I think that for me, rhythm in the shooting and in the editing are very important, uh, and I think that people experience the films bodily. We don't just see work and then it goes to our brains so that we intellectualize, we read films. I don't want my films to be read only. I want them to be experienced bodily, and I think that the editing rhythms um, and the subject water <laughs> crashing, you know, waterfalls, close-ups, there's a number of things that give one an experience while, of, of the film while watching it. Uh, also, I think that my films are experienced over time. They take time to develop. It's not something that's singular, that, that uh, I've often tried to shorten some of my films and find that you can't just go from here to here. You can't put those together. You need the experience of moving along, you know, to quote the cliche, the journey, but I really think it is, uh, the journey of the film. And even if at the end of it you can't exactly say, this film was about this, this film said that, that's fine with me. But somewhere in you, something has happened, you felt it, and people have come up to me, you know, much later on, sometimes years later, and said, you know, that this shot came back to me, or I was thinking about that, or this has stayed with me. So I think that um, there are many ways of experiencing a film rather other than simply feeling that we have to be able to put into words what the film said. <laughs>